Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Unshackling Sudokus and Puzzles. I am Kishore and today we are going to solve a classic Sudoku created by R. Kumarizan. So Kumarizan has contributed to us many wonderful Sudokus in the past and this Sudoku is no exception to that. Kumarizan is a quality author who has contributed to the Asian Sudoku Championship and many online contests at Logic Masters india.com as well. His Sudokus are very challenging to solve and have interesting solve paths. And before uh, moving on to the uh, video, if you have been uh, liking and enjoying the content that we are producing each day and haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please uh, show us your support by hitting the bell button below and subscribe to the channel. Moving on to the rules, each row, each column and each 3 by 3 box of the 9 by 9 grid will have digits from 1 to 9 without any repetition. Normal classic rules. During the course of this video, I will explain an advanced technique uh, in the middle of the solve and for that we will make a jump to a subsequent grid. Uh, it will be a quick explanation of the technique as we have covered the technique uh, previously in the channel also. So let us sol start solving the grid now. So there is a 3 in row 1 and row 3 which means that 3 in row 2 must go into one of these two cells. There is a 3 in column 1, column 3 so 3 must be here. And there are no more 3's that can help us really. So there is a 2 here and 2 here in row 9 which means that 2 must be in one of these two cells. So 2 uh, is here so we can place the 2 now. All these digits can be placed using simple scanning technique. So 2 is in column 5 and column 6 so 2 must go here. Um, okay there is a 5 in row 8 and row 9 which means we get the 5 here. There is a 5 in row 3, 5 in column 9 which means 5 must be in one of these two cells. Okay, I think we have to shift our style here and start writing candidates. Well, maybe one more digit. Row 1 and row 2 and column 4 if you look, 4 can't be in those cells. So 4 has to be here and 4 has to be in one of these two cells because of these two 4s. And now if you look at row 7, 4 cannot be in these two cells. So 4 would have to be in these two cells. Okay, we will uh, sh shift our style now to writing candidates. I think we have got uh, many markings by just using simple scanning techniques. Let us start looking at box 7 because it has 5 filled digits. 1, 2, 3, 5 and 9, right? So remaining are 4, 6, 7 and 8. So this cell cannot be 6 or 7, so this would be a 4 or 8. This cannot be 4, 8, so this is 6, 7. This can't be a 6, so 4, 7 and 8 and this would be 4, 6, 7, 8. Let us look at box uh, 3, the symmetrically opposite box. 3, 4, 7, 8 are given in that box already and 6 and 9 cannot be in column 8. So remaining digits are 1, 2 and 5 along column 8. But if you look at row 3, 2 and 5 already given, so this must be a 1 and this must be a 2, 5 and now pending digits in that box are 2, 5, 6 and 9, right? So these two cells cannot be a 5, so they, has, they have to be 2, 6, 9 and 2, 6 and 9 and this can be 5, 6 and 9, can't be a 2, so this will be 5, 6, 9. Okay, now row 3 can be uh, used to make some progress because we have 6 digits, 2, 4, 5, 1, 3 and 7, so remaining 6, 8 and 9. Let us start writing the candidates. 8 can't be here and 9 can't be here. So corresponding pencil marks have been made. Okay, let us look at co column 3, box 1 because I am able to see uh, easily 6 candidates that can be eliminated. You can't have 3, 4, 5. You can't have 2, 3, 7. So this cell can only be uh, 1, 6, 8 and 9, right? 1, 6, 8 and 9, so, but 1 and 8 are here, so this cannot be uh, 1 and 8, so this will be 6 and 9. And the moment you make that, you have a beautiful pair, right? Uh, a scenario where you have restricted 2 digits to 2 cells, so which means that 6, 9 can't be in any other cell, so this cell would have to be a 6, and this cell would have to be, a, sorry, this cell would have to be an 8, right? Because 6 is eliminated, so this would be 8, and this would be a 6, 9. And now we get the 8 in box 7, so this would be 8, and this would be 4, 7, 
and this has to be a 4, 6 and 7. And remaining candidates in box 1 are 1, 2 and 7. So 2 and 7 cannot be in column 3 so this will be a 1 and these two cells must be 2, 7. Any more eliminations? I don't think we can make any more eliminations. So uh, just a second guys, I just need to cut this off. So if you look at column 3 now, 2, 3, 7, 8, 1 and 5. So remaining are 4, 6 and 9 but 4 cannot be in row 6 so this would be a 4 and this has to be a 6, 9. And now 4 in row 5 cannot be in these 3 cells, can't be here so 4 would have to be here, right? Ok, let's look at row 8, 1, 5, 8, 2 and 6 have been placed already. So remaining candidates are 3, 4, 7, 9, 4 and 7 is in column 7 so this will be 3, 9. This cannot be 3 or 4 so this will be 7, 9 because 4 is in one of these two cells. And this can anything be, uh, this can be 3, 4, 7 or 8, 9. Ok. 8 in column 8 and column 9 which means that 8 in uh, box 9 must be in one of these 3 cells so it has to be here right it cannot be here or here so this would be 8 this would have to be 8 and that gives the 4 here which means which in turn gives the 4 here ok if you look at this cell now 3 4 5 8 and 6 and 9 so this means that this will be 1 2 or 7 Is that 8 giving us something? Ok. If you look at row 7 now, 3, 5, 6, 9, 2, 4 and 8. So remaining candidates are 1 and 7. But this cell can't be a 1 so this would have to be a 7 and this would have to be a 1. Now let us look at this box 8 because it has 5 digits already. So 1, 2, 6, 5 and 7. So remaining are 3, 4, 8, 9. So this cell cannot be a 4. So this is 3, 8, 9. And this cannot be a 4. So this is also 3, 8 and 9. And these two cells can be 3, 4, 8, 9. Okay. We can place the 1 in box 1. Uh, box 9. 1 cannot be here. So there is only 1 cell left for the 1. So which means that this cell has to take the candidates 3, 7 and 9. But there is a 9 here. So this will be a 3, 7 and 9 must go into one of these two cells now which means that this cell cannot be 1, 5, 6, 2, 7 uh, it can only be or a 9 so it can only be 3, 4 or 8 ah you have an 8 also here so this must be a 3 and 4 right ok let's look at column 6 now 1, 4, 6, 2 and 7 Remaining candidates are 3, 5, 8 and 9. This is 3, 8, 9. And because of the 8's in row 5 and row 6, so this is 3, 5, 9 and this is also 3, 5 and 9. And this is going to be, cannot be a 3, so this will be a 5, 8 and 9. So the Sudoku seems to have a very tight solve path. You can see that uh, even after writing so many candidates, we haven't been able to find the breakthrough it. The one digit that will help us carry the Sudoku forward. So 189. 4 and 6 so remaining are 2, 3, 5, 7 so 7 is in row 5 so this will be a 2, 3, 5 and this can be 2, 3, 5 and 7 so nothing much there Okay, if you look at column 1, uh, 1 and 5 cannot be in this cell or these 3 cells. So which means that 1, 5 must be restricted here. Maybe we can make a corner pencil mark of the same. So 1, 5 must be in these 3 cells, right? So which means that these 2 cells cannot be 4, 7, 8, cannot be 1 and 5. So remaining candidates are 2, 3, 6 and 9. And if you look at row 4, 6 and 9 are eliminated. So this will be a 2 and 3. So which means this cell uh, can be 2, 3, 6 and 9. Nothing much there again. Let's look at column 7 because it has 5 digits. 
one, two, eight, four, and seven. Right? Remaining candidates are three, five, six, and nine. But six and nine cannot go in row four, column seven. So this will be three, five, and row six, column seven can be three, five, six. Cannot be a nine. So this will be three, five, and six. Okay. So six is in column eight and six is in row four, which means that six must go into one of these two cells, right? So let me make a corner pencil mark. So six is in one of these two cells, and because of that six, we get a nine here, right? This six is eliminated from here, and we get our digit. A nice reduction hidden very deeply, and that gives a six here, a nine here, and six here. We got some digits, and this six eliminates the six from here. So this will be a two under nine. Sorry. So this will be two nine, and now this cell cannot be four seven eight nine, cannot be one and five. So this is going to be two three or six. Can we place six in box four? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, so this is the point where we'll be using the. Uh, advanced sudoku logic or rather the tough sudoku technique that is required to solve this sudoku so i'll request our viewers to uh, find the technique yourself i'll maybe and maybe pause the video for 2 seconds i'll take a break for 2 seconds uh, you can try to find the uh, candidate yourself okay so if you uh, the technique is called wiving if you look at uh, rows 2 and rows Uh, 8 and uh, cells row 2 column 1 row 2 co uh, column 9 and row 2 uh, row 8 column 9 you have a wiving pattern so to make a brief explanation about this so when you have something like this that is called a wiving so let's say you have something of this pattern the cells uh, doesn't matter it can be here here or ab can be here or here so when you have something like this so uh, the digits in this cell are of the form ab bc and ac there is one common candidate between these two cells so this uh, cell is called the hinge and these two cells are called the wings as per the terminology of wiki sudoku solver so when you have such a pattern from this cell why particularly this cell because this cell is able to see both of ab and ac you can eliminate the common candidate between these two cells right so basically what it means is that you cannot have an a here so because if you have an uh, a here so this will be a c this becomes a b and you can have nothing here so you cannot have that digit there so to explain in a better way let us take an example if you have for example 3 4 here a 4 5 here any example and a 3 5 here a b b c and a c so from this cell you can eliminate the 3 because if you have a 3 here this becomes 4 this becomes 5 and you have nothing here so this is called a wiving and it is a very very powerful technique so we'll move back to the sudoku so at this point we have a wiving technique and uh, wivings are usually uh, distributed in uh, maybe uh, two uh, boxes right two or three boxes restricted to two or three boxes but this particular thing you can see that it's restricted to four boxes right so you have an ab here digit here a bc here and an ac here right so what happens is that from row 8 column 1 right from this cell you can eliminate the digit which is common between these two cells from row 2 column 1 and row 8 column 9 so this cell cannot contain a 7 so this is called a wiving pattern and if you have a 7 here this becomes a 2 and this becomes a 9 and you would cannot have any digit here beautiful technique right so it's not easy to spot such techniques in contests but with practice you can uh, tune yourself to look for such patterns the moment you start looking for such patterns it becomes easier if you uh, do not like uh, have a premonition that such technique may happen in advanced sudoku it's difficult to find so if you practice and keep looking for such techniques it's easy to find so which means that this cannot be a 7 so this would have to be a 4 and that gives a 3 here a 9 here a 7 here a 3 here and the sudoku is looking like it's going to implode so this 7 eliminates the 7 from here so this is 1 2 the 3 eliminates the 3 from here so this is 2 5 and we have a 2 5 pair now in column 8 which means that this cell would have to be a 7 the only cell left for the 7 in that column 
and now 4 has only one cell left in box 9 box 8 so 4 has to go here and these two cells must be 8 9 and these two cells must be 6 7 right okay 9 is here so this must be a 5 and 6 okay 3 we have placed here which means this must be a 3 the digits have started to trickle now okay if you look at column 4 remaining digits are 2 7 8 and 9 7 and 8 cannot be here so this will be a 2 and 9 this cannot be a 9 so this is 2 7 8 okay 9 cannot be in this cell if you look at column 9 so this cell would have to be a 1 2 or a 6 let me remove the corner pencil marks they are not required anymore okay there is a 9 placed in row 6 column 3 which means that this must be a 3 and 5 okay it hasn't imploded actually there still seems to be some kind of solve left in the sudoku okay 6 is here so which means this will be a 5 this will be a 2 this will be a 5 this is a 3 this is a 6 and this must be a 9 because 2 is here so this is a 9 this is a 6 and this must be a 1 2 pair 6 is eliminated from here so this must be a 1 2 pair and this 2 gives us a 7 here a 2 here a 7 here and a 6 here actually this one step has given so much information in the grid and you see that it's very easy to solve now so in box 2 7 has to be placed in this cell because 7 cannot be in these 3 cells and now the remaining candidates are 5, 8 and 9 so let me write the candidates 5, 8, 9 5, 8, 9 and this cannot be a 5 so this is 8, 9 and we have an 8, 9 pair in column 4 beautiful sudoku guys amazing construction really quality handcrafted sudoku so this means that this has to be a 2 9 cannot be here and this would have to be a 7 ok 2 cannot be here so which means that this is to be a uh, okay, if you look at column 2, 1, 5, 6, 8, 4, 7, 9, so remaining are 2, 3, but 2 is here. So this will be a 3 and this would be a 2. And that gives the 2, 1 pair, resolves the 2, 1 pair. And a uh, few digits are left in column uh, row 4. They are 5 and 8. So let me write the candidate. So this must be 5 and 8. We can remove the corner pencil marks. So 8 is here, so which means that this would have to be an 8. Sorry, this would have to be an 8, this would have to be a 5 and remaining are 1 and 6 but 6 is in column 6 so 6 is here and 1 is here and remaining candidates along row 6 are 3 and 5 so 3 is in column 5 so this is a 5 and this is a 3 and 5 is in column 4 and column 5 which means we get the 5 here this must be 8 9 but 8 is here so this is a 9 this is 8 this is 9 and this is 8 and now we have almost completed the sudoku 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 1 is here one goes here and the nine goes here and with that we have completed this really amazing construction by Kumarajan which exploited the uh, wiving technique very very beautifully so this is a perfect example of how a classic sudoku should be uh, wherein a tough technique is required for you to uh, continue the sudoku but again it should not uh, get you stuck further so the wiving works uh, how we saw how the wiving works we have uh, digits of the pattern a b B, C and A, C and we can eliminate the common candidate from these two cells from the cell which see both of the cells right so hope you guys enjoyed watching me solve this uh, sudoku please let us know your thoughts and comments and if you have any particular sudoku or puzzle do let us know we'll make our best efforts to make a video or puzzle on it hope to see you all soon thank you